Right, so we're both back from the NEC. Both had a bit of a... Yeah, it was a miserable cold, didn't we? That's right. Yeah. I ended up fainting. <laughs> Apart from that, not much has been going on. Not really, no. So we've been recovering a bit from that, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so welcome to our, to our what is it, March, March update. March update, update, yes. Yeah. March uh, the 1st. We've been at home a little while now, so... Uh, too long. <laughs> too long again. Yeah. But So we're going to give you a bit of an update, what's been going on and uh, what we're planning what to, to do. do. Yeah. Yeah. We've been having a few problems with the Avtex router, the Wi-Fi router that we've got yeah. in the van. And um, it keeps uh, disconnecting from the internet. And it seems to be when we were using laptops, didn't it? Well, that's what we thought. When, yeah. when you were browsing somewhere on the laptop, yeah. it just couldn't handle it. And it just shut off the internet. And obviously we'd come back if yeah. you rebooted it. But yeah. there was one particular day, weren't there, we rebooted it four times yeah, four in a row? Four or five times. And yeah. Avtex were at the show, so I popped into their stand and uh, asked them if there was anything can do. And he, they said to contact the technical support people, which, which I did whilst we were there, but there was only two of them there. I don't yeah, think. No, they, they couldn't. They, uh, could, they, they said they'd never heard of it before. No, they, the people I spoke to yeah. said never heard of it. No. But I did email them and I got a reply later saying that there is a firmware update for the router. So mm. I've done the firmware update and that we haven't used it really, except for now, um, since we got back. So... Uh, no, we so we don't know whether it's, we don't know if it's fixed. It's going to. It's really annoying, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So it's really sort of put us off recommending that router. And people have been asking me to do a video on it, and uh, I've not been too happy with it. Is the honest truth? No, no. But it, we have had a similar problem at home, haven't we? Mm. That it was fixed by a firm up, firmware update. Yeah. And that was um, just we could get internet on wired connections, yeah, but, not but not on, on wireless. wireless yeah. But that seems at the moment touch wood. Touch wood, yeah. Wood any, wood any uh, there's, well, there's a little bit there. A bit there. Yeah. Um, it's been uh, been okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's basically the router. The other thing to mention, and people always ask, how is Poppy? Poppy's fine. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, been, been best of all of us. She's yeah, she's been very well. Very well. Yeah, she's not quite cute at the moment. Yeah. She needs a haircut. She's she was busy woofing at someone with a chainsaw. So yes. if you hear some noise in the background, other than the the fan we're trying to warm <laughs> warm this place up with, uh, there's someone with a chainsaw up a ladder. Yeah, at, just, just outside the, our, the other side of our our That's right. wall. Uh, the other thing to mention is I've got a new phone. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I've got a Samsung Galaxy, uh, so, yeah, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I thought I'd treat myself because you treated yourself. Yeah, well, uh, it's a few years, isn't it, since we had a phone? Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah. Um, let me know if you want me to do a little video on that. Uh, I hesitate to do videos that are not about motorhomes. But... I know, I know. It's a, it's a nice phone, though. Yeah. I'm actually recording with it on, yeah, so... on the moment. We're using a little teleprompter thing, which Jenny hates. <laughs> Well, it seems to be behaving itself a bit better. It's before yeah. it's got stuck or... Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just so, so we can remind ourselves what we've got, what to, we've say. got to say. Otherwise, yeah. you just waffle on and forget. Yeah, I mean, a teleprompter normally gives you a whole script to read. Yeah, We're just using sort right. of like prompts to remind us. And it, and it seems to work quite well. I've got my laptop down here, which I'm using as like a remote control for it. Yeah, so you've got a... Is it a ma moose cake? <laughs> I've got a moose. M O U S K. M O U S. You know the ones you always see the adverts for them throwing it and up we in keep, the air. Every and... time we watch a YouTube video now, we're getting this the guy. one, aren't we? Yeah, yeah I've got a Samsung <laughs> Galaxy S twenty four, and I'm going to throw it up in the air. Yeah, right. which is a bit of relief because normally you've been getting that Adobe one, haven't you? With the going boom to boom. Oh boom. yeah, there was a kid on the on the laptop. You can't yeah. sort of shut it up. Can't skip it quick no, enough. No. You see, yeah. adverts annoy me just as much as they do you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Right. right. So, um, the what other, else has uh, happened since we've been home? Well, the other bit of news is we, we had met up with Desmond's Donders, uh, yes. Link down here somewhere, uh, Dave and Lindsay, uh, we've known them for a little while, and they were visiting Southport, so we went to see them. That's right. Yeah, we met uh, Dave, didn't we? Up at, in Speyside oh, when right. we were up there right, yeah. um, a couple yeah. of years ago, but never met Lindsay. It's cold in here. So we met them. We went to their van. Uh, we had some a cup of coffee, didn't we? Yeah. And then we said we'll go for a walk. So <laughs> we could go down to the I sea. Mean, <laughs> as like now, it's 
probably been raining most days in Southport just, just for about as long every as day, yeah. we can remember. Yeah. Uh, so it was a bit muddy. It started off okay, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. And then it started, it was like two tracks, two vehicle tracks and a bit in the middle. Yeah. A bit in the middle seemed okay. And then suddenly my shoes went, both feet went from under me and I ended up on my knees. Yeah. You and Lindsay were trying to help me up. Mm. I got up and we said we can't go any further because it was... I didn't film worse. any of this instantly. No, 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 nobody filmed it or took any I pictures. Wouldn't dare. No. Uh, <laughs> so then we went to turn round and go back. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'm fine turning round. And then whoop, and I'd gone on. You the fell bottom. on your bum then, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So then really couldn't get up because <laughs> uh, my shoes were got sticky mud all yeah. over them. I thought in the end I'm going to have to perhaps leave them because I yeah. couldn't get you know, feet up so in the end you managed to pull me one side Lindsay the other yeah you managed to pull something on my arm so you strained so your arm you strained my arm you strained your own arm because you <laughs> he slipped as well I, he slipped. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I thought <sighs> it was, at one point I thought we're gonna get stuck <laughs> you're, here you're stuck disappear in the mud forever that's right yeah <sighs> so yeah, eventually so fun, um yeah my arm's okay now and your arm's okay isn't yeah. it but yeah Oh, yeah. So we went back to the, their van, covered in mud. Lindsay lent me a change yeah. of clothes yeah. and came back. I, what We washed them up. I mean, we were hoping to spend longer with them. But, yeah, yeah. You know, we were just plastered. Well, I was plastered. <laughs> <mud. laughs> so, yeah, so that yeah. was last weekend. So since then, uh, nothing really exciting. No. Well. Sunday, Monday, and then yeah. what happened? What did you do Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday, well... <sighs> I think the doctors and the uh, health service in general have uh, diagnosed me with pre-diabetes, which is like your blood sugar is at a level just before getting diabetes. So um, I've been nagged to improve my health. Yes. And uh, they've basically persuaded me to go on a series of courses uh, called A Better You, I think it's called. It's run by Reed. And uh, you get a course tutor and they, they, you can go, you attend in person and there are some online sessions as well. So I've been to the first online session. Yeah. And I think what I realise is I'm eating far too much carbohydrates. You're can't... eating, for, yeah, far too much bread and yeah. the wrong, wrong colour bread. You should be having brown, have brown bread, bread, wholemeal yeah. bread rather than a lot of white yeah. bread. And the other baddie is... Is unfortunately alcohol, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I do need to cut down on the alcohol, particularly yeah. at the weekends. So. Yeah, the temptation always is you, you have a bottle of wine and you think, yeah. well, just open another one. And mm. Mm. we've always say beforehand, no, we'll just have one bottle and then. Yeah. 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 But, and all of that should help the weight as well. So. Yeah. So yeah. Ho hopefully I'm on the right track. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. You had a salad for lunch, didn't you? <laughs> I had a green salad. It was quite nice. Yeah. 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 So moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So enough about our health. Um, I did notice in the MMM magazine there was a th a letter about airbag modules. You know the the thing down here that I had reprogrammed and then I changed and I had battery change. A great long saga. Um, I'll probably put a link. Uh, where is it? Up there Normally somewhere. Up there, isn't I think it? it's yeah. to the left, isn't it? Somewhere. I never remember. Or is it over there? It's over there, isn't it? Yeah. Just get away. <laughs> if you're watching uh, a TV, you won't see it anyway. No, that's true. <laughs> Just see you that's waving your, waving your, your arm hands about. about. Well, it's yeah. only, it's, it's remind me to do it, you see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I forget to do it. Um, yeah. But yeah, there was a serve, uh, sorry, there was a letter at someone saying about, you know, what's being done about these airbag modules because loads of people are having the same problem. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not on really, is it? No. The, these modules no. keep failing. There's no real reason rhyme or reason from what we can tell all i know is i think it's or we think it's related to um, battery voltage if the the battery voltage is too low when you're starting it it seems to damage the uh, the module. module yeah now i had my module changed by fiat and that cost me 700 pounds which i'm less than happy about no so what we'd like to know is is have anyone any Others of our viewers had the same problem. If they have, can you go to this survey and link on here? It's called motorhome.ma slash airbags. Uh, just a short survey, just to find out if you've had the problem, because I think the MMM hopefully are going to try and collate some of the data mm, on that. Which is good to hear because, you know, didn't think out that anybody was really interested, did no, we, before? No, well, Fiat just... certainly weren't interested. No, no, so, no uh, they weren't. No. 
Um, the other question I keep getting asked is about uh, our new motorhome. I'm still waiting for a, a date. We're still waiting for a date now. Um, there's a number of things that have happened since we ordered the van. And I suppose the, the biggest sort of question mark in my head is the, the company that own the, uh, or make the Fiat Ducato, the Citroen Relay and the Peugeot Boxer, called, they're called Stellantis. And they have made, uh, are doing a facelift to the, those, those vehicles, the, the Boxer, the, uh, the Ducato and the Relay. So what's probably happening is there's a delay on the actual, the actual vans. Base vehicle, let alone anything else. Yeah, yeah, so we were hoping it would be sort of coming sometime in February, March. It might still come in March, don't know, but um, more likely mm. it's probably going to be July. Yeah. And it's one of the reasons I didn't book a lot of trips in February, March. Because we thought it was coming. Because we, we thought, thought it was coming and yeah. we thought we, we, we need at least two weeks to, well, at least yeah. a week to yeah. sort, of sort ourselves out. Because you've got 28 items <laughs> to take out or leave, haven't you? Yeah, so. I mean, all the things that I've added, you know, to the motorhome over the, the four years that we've had it, nearly five years that yeah. we've had it, is, you know, I've got to decide where I'm going to leave them in or take them out. I mean, an example would be the clutch claw. You know, the, the clutch... Well, can't use... You well, I haven't got a clutch on the new van. No, so you'd have to leave... <laughs> So probably, probably sends you a bit of a left. something it, yeah. different, won't you? Yeah, yeah. so there are those sort of decisions to be made, but probably don't have to make them just yet. No, so <laughs> we've, we've obviously we'll carry on with our, our own van. I mean, one of the other things we might be waiting for is the new Swift control panel, isn't it? Because yeah. we thought that, because Todd's had the other Contiki that was Well, the 774, the came, Swift Contiki 774, had the old panel. And we thought, oh, yes. blimey, our panel's not going to be the old panel. So maybe it's things like that, but, waiting for that. But, but the, the ones we saw at the Manchester show had the new control panel. Oh, did they? All right. Yeah. All right. But there was no 784 at the Manchester show, was there? No, the ones I saw at the show. You yeah, were... no, no. But when yeah. you went to the show, yeah. you haven't managed to see a 784 since we originally saw one no. back at the NEC. No, that's right. No Contiki's were there at this show at all. No, and that was the other sort of clue, wasn't it, really? There were no yeah. Contiki's at uh, the NEC at all. No, and I keep looking at some of the other dealers. And, and they all say sort of July, August, don't they? Yeah, no, one yeah. of them in Flintshire got a 774, but that was about the only one I could see. Yeah. 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 I know there's a load of Voyagers, and that's probably because they've got a load of Fords, haven't they? So. Yeah, yeah, there's a Voyagers everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, that's right, yeah. coming out of their ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... Um, so that's that's it for the uh, the new motor. I mean, there's nothing really nothing to report. Nothing we can do. Really, nothing we, we can just do. Gotta we just got to wait. wait. It's like a lot of people have had. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right. The the next thing we've got a couple of weeks time. Yeah, yeah. We'll be there two weeks to today. I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is the Yorkshire Motorhome and Camper Van Show, and that's at the Great Yorkshire Showground at Harrogate. And it's the first Warner Show of the year. Uh, and it's a mix of indoor and outdoor stands. You've got new and used motorhomes. It's dealer-led. A lot of dealers will be there. Yeah. The great news is that dogs are now allowed in all areas. Yep. Which is good news for Ailing with a pet, pet supply stall. Yeah, yeah, because so. there'll be lots of uh, people yeah. with dogs. Yeah. You know, walking around the halls. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Alien stand is is indoors. I think it's normally in hall too. I'm not absolutely sure where she is. Yeah, she's at the... the same place that she normally is, just yeah. by those those doors. Yeah, so that's the hall furthest away from the cante and the ca from... cafe and all that. Yeah, it? that's yeah. right. Yeah, um, there, there's also the um, usual um, advice centre uh, set up there. You're going to get people like um, John and Tash from Life Beyond Bricks. You've got Motorhome Matt will be there. Uh, Peter Vaughan and Urban Motor. Oh, and Ian, somebody. Yeah, I didn't yeah. recognise Ian Duff. I didn't recognise okay. the name. Those. All right, and they're from the MMM. Yeah. And uh, you, you'll have um, Darren from Urban Motorhome. Yeah. Um, there are some manoeuvring courses on there, so if you are new to motorhomes, uh, you can try out how you get on driving a a motorhome, mm. or or perhaps I don't know, if you've dri driven a camper van and you want to. Upsize. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to see what it's like. Yeah, yeah we were watching them last time, weren't they? They were driving around the yeah. outside of the, That's right. the show. It's worth mentioning there's no on site camping, it is day visitors only. Mm. Yeah. Um, we're, 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 because we're helping Ailing with a uh, trade stand, we're in the trade 
camping area. Yeah, yeah. So um, so we'll be there all, all I'm not going to say all week, but it's, it's from Friday mm. to Sunday. Sunday, yeah. yeah. Uh, so no on-site camping. There is, however, a campsite right next door, uh, and we've stayed there before. That's the Harrogate Caravan Park. I'd imagine that's fully booked. Yeah, it probably is, yeah. Yeah, Glynstain at Knaresborough Caravan and Motorhome Club. Oh, is it? All right. So I expect that's fully booked as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The show is open from Friday the 15th of March to Sunday the 17th of March uh, from 9.30 to 4.30. And on Sunday it closes early at 4 p.m. Uh, pre Pre-booked tickets are £7. I think you can get them from out and about live yeah there, there was a link i saw that you you oh, can put down I'll below put down here yeah. uh or on the door at 10 pound yeah you get a free show guide don't you yeah that's right i quite like the show because a lot of it's outside and i say we've always been able to take poppy so i can go to go around it more than i would do at the nec because yeah. the dog thing well we can take city. poppy indoors as well so yeah so looking forward right. to it really it's yeah. a more relaxed show than the nec for us yeah, and well, I think Lynn and Sharon are coming a couple of days. Okay, or... okay. Yeah. So it should be good. So looking forward to that. We've got Easter coming up quite quickly as well now. Yeah, well, we Easter is uh, at the end of March, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Around my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we... Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> reminder, reminder. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll, I'll send out several reminders. Yeah. Well, days leading up to it. Email as well. Probably, yeah. A calendar... Mm events you know all that yeah, sort of thing yeah. yeah so it's a cl near shrewsbury shrewsbury yeah yeah and Going we'll be there. meeting glenn and sharon there as well you didn't realize we mentioned glenn three or four times in this video <laughs> people were moaning at glenn for mentioning us and his video so, <laughs> so uh, we so mentioned him four times yeah yeah we're also going to be meeting up some friends at morton in marsh as well yes uh, afterwards and uh, looking forward to that they're staying at because there's quite a few hotels in morton in marsh yeah. so yeah. A couple of our friends are staying there. Alison is coming in a camper van, yeah. a wild axe. Yeah. yeah, and we thought the day we're there on our own, we might go to the Didcot Railway Centre, didn't we? Yeah, I wanted to go to that. Now, the Didcot Railway Centre is on the railway, would you believe, at Didcot. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it is. So Strange I thought, place for I thought it we, we could take a train. We can actually take a train from Morton in Marsh to yeah. Didcot. Yeah. Uh, Didcot Parkway, I think it is. So that might be quite good. And we've checked that uh, dogs are allowed on the train yeah. and dogs are allowed in the railway centre. I don't think they were originally okay. when we tried to go. So. All right. so that might be quite good. Yeah. Yeah, so looking forward to that. So we've got plenty coming up. So uh, if you haven't already, you know what to do. Yep. <laughs> and you might want to watch. Um, where's the video going to be? It's going to be here, isn't it? Somewhere back oh, here. Great. <laughs> <laughs>